This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Hi friends! Welcome back to my channel. Today is actually Christmas Eve and I'm in Dallas visiting my in-laws and I was able to sneak away for an hour while they were wrapping some gifts and was gonna hit up a new thrift store in the Plano area. It's a suburb right outside of Dallas and it's called Plaza Thrift. So I'm hoping maybe because it's Christmas Eve and you know, not a lot of people are shopping as it appears right now that we'll find some cool stuff. So I'm going to take you guys in and we're gonna see what we can find today thrifting in Dallas. I have always had a lot of good luck here. So let's hope the luck continues with this new thrift store, Plaza Thrift, let's do it. Before we head into the thrift store, I'm gonna to introduce today's video sponsor, which is Squarespace. You guys have heard me talk about Squarespace so much on this channel, and I absolutely love their platform and working with them. It has been truly one of the greatest partnerships of 2021. Squarespace is a wonderful hosting platform for whatever type of website you wanna create, whether that's showcasing your photography or maybe selling some handmade goods. Squarespace has got you, and all of their websites are completely mobile optimized, so not only can you view websites directly from your mobile device. You can also update your website on the go, which has been great for me and such a crazy year. Now creating your own website can seem really daunting, but Squarespace makes it super easy. They have a bunch of preset templates that are completely customizable, so you can really make it as unique as you want. So if you want to join me over at Squarespace, you can head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch your website, you can go to squarespace.com slash tailormade style to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. I'm sorry if the video quality is not great today, you guys, but I have my phone with me and not my camera. So we're gonna work with what we have, but on my way over to the dresses and jackets here, I spotted these two pairs of vintage denim on the putback rack, which you guys know is my favorite spot. You always find the best stuff there. And I found this black pair of Levi's in my size. I love this. Um, it's a 505, which is one of my favorite fits. It's kind of like a relaxed fit in the crotch, which sounds really weird, but if you have like wider hips and a smaller waist like me, then this fit is really good for you. So I'm really stoked on those. And then I also found men's vintage Wranglers. We'll have to slim fit on these. They're a 32 as well, so they might be more of like a relaxed fit on me, but those are honestly two really good denim pieces. So now I'm over in the dresses. We're going to see what we can find. I am specifically looking for like a cute black dress for New Year's Eve, but you know, we're always open to whatever we can find. This little sweater dress is cute. New tags from Ann Taylor, but they went $40. No, no, that kills me inside. How adorable is this dress? Very off season, but I really like it. It's rayon and probably very 80s. I found a couple really good vintage dresses. The first is this like 90s button down. I would probably wear it with some sort of like kind of puffy white sleeve blouse underneath and maybe some tights. I don't know if it's gonna fit because it doesn't really have any stretch to it, but I really like this one. I've been into kind of those like little 90s mini dresses that you can layer up. This is a Zara dress. It kind of has like a faux suede feel and it seems really comfy. It has pockets. I just love these kinds of dresses in the winter time to pair with like a pair of chunky boots, maybe some sheer tights. I have a really wide variety of dresses I picked up, but this one is like a maxi, like silky dress. I really like this pattern. Last is something I think could work for New Year's Eve. It is an 80s dress and this is real leather. I just feel like this could be so amazing. I'm in front of the jackets now, so I think I'm gonna check those out. There's no way I could fit this in my suitcase, but look at this vintage Neiman Marcus faux fur lined trench. It's amazing. They have a ton of trench coats. I just really don't need another one. I'm looking for like a good winter coat that I just haven't been able to find yet. That's a torrid jacket, which is really nice, but 
for my thighs. This actually is amazing. This is a London Fog raincoat, but I love this little detail here. It looks very Western. It's definitely 70s. Look at that collar, maybe late 60s. It's kind of like a canvas feel, and I like that it's not floor length. So I think I'm gonna try it out and see if it will work. I'm freaking out. I literally have no words off of what I just found. Are you kidding me? A Christian Dior trench coat going in the cart. I don't see a price on it, but we're gonna ask them and hopefully they will sell it to me. Best find ever. I'm trying these on right now. This place is a freaking gold mine. Look at these Steve Madden shoes I just found. They're not in like the most perfect condition, but they look like they've only been used a couple times. They're $12. I have been searching for a pair of dad sneakers like this for so long. I have not been this excited to thrift in months probably. This has been such an awesome trip so far. I'm just really glad that I stopped in and that I took you guys with me. Look at this incredible pair of 80s suede boots in this gorgeous like Matisse blue color and they fit me so perfectly. So I think the next section I'm actually going to look in are these skirts because they have a ton of them and usually the skirt selection at the thrift stores in St. Louis are not great. So I'm going to see if I can try my luck here and continue on this path of finding amazing things. I know this might not look like much, but this is like a 90s limited skirt. I love the belt. It's a high waist. I think this would be so cute with some sheer tights and chunky boots, a sweater. This is exactly the type of skirt that I've been looking for. It's like a good 90s mini and I just love the little built-in belt that it has. It's only $4.99. So going in the cart i am obsessed with this 90s mini with the little side slit it's way too small though but it's so cute and it's only 250 this is like the exact skirt i was looking for i love this gingham skirt it has all these accordion pleats it's like a midi it's just from target from the new day brand it's 4.99 but i could definitely see myself wearing this. I love it and it's going in the cart. Oh, also guys, I got a tattoo. I just got it last weekend. Isn't it amazing? This is very cheeky, but I love it. It's a Western skirt and look at this has like this little like Western motif on it. Like, of course I have to get this because we're in Texas. I might have to try this one on. It's not coming off as green in the camera. It's like a Kelly green, but it's this knit midi skirt and knitwear is super popular right now especially this kelly green color it's only $2.99 so i'm gonna try it on i think it'd be really cute to pair with like another knitwear piece on top some chunky boots or like my little kitten heel um tall boots love this this is hard to show on camera but it is a 90s little wrap fleece skirt only two dollars I just found the gold mine of vintage knit skirts. This one's probably my fave because I love this little cable knit detail here. So I think I'm gonna toss this one in my cart too. But look at all the colors they have. Y'all, I really don't need this, but it's so cute. It's a little chore coat, denim, has the suede collar. It's literally five dollars i feel like this is like every major brand of selling something like this it starts closing early today so i gotta wrap it up quickly so i have time to kind of like try things on if i need to i'm gonna continue with the good luck and hopefully i find some good pants so i found one pair of pants it wasn't a total loss and they are these loft wide leg jeans they're kind of like the jesse cam pant i'm thinking sweater I was like truly I need to have this kind of moment was this sweater so I'm gonna try to find a mirror now and attempt to try a couple of pieces on and then we'll head out um 
Really, 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 really sad news, guys. They would not sell me the Dior trench coat because the price was off of it. And they can't price it up at the cash register. And they said that they had to send it back to production to price. I was like, can I hold it until Monday? Because we leave Tuesday. And they were like, I mean, you can come back, but we don't know if it'll be priced yet. So I don't know, maybe I'll try to come back Monday. It is a Christmas miracle. I found it, I found it. It's $70, so obviously high for a thrift store, but $70 for a Christian Dior trench coat that fits me perfectly, like, yes. I also just found these black jeans with the white stitching. I really like kind of like cargo-esque design of them. I'm back in my car. I'm gonna show you the couple things I picked up. I will obviously do a big haul of everything, like I said before, but I just figured I would pop in today, see if they might have priced the jacket, and they did, which honestly, I'm just shocked. I had zero hope that they would actually still have it. Here she is. And then let me show you a couple of the other things I ended up picking up. I got this little beanie from A New Day, which is just like a Target brand. I love this color and I wear these constantly in the winter. So this one was $2.50. And then I did go ahead and pick up the H&M jeans for $4. So I feel like that was pretty successful. I'm really glad that I decided to stop in because this jacket was so worth it. I was like searching through all the jackets and then at the very end, I saw one last trench coat and I was like, please be it. And it was. That is it. I'm not going to do any more thrifting in Dallas while I'm here, but I will check you guys back in St. Louis so we can do a final haul and try on of everything I picked up. I am so excited to style up the Dior coat and just wear it with everything. And yeah, successful trip in Dallas. Well, I am back in St. Louis with a giant haul of things I picked up in Dallas. I can't wait to show you everything I got. I honestly had to like weed down my cart a lot or else it would not have fit in my suitcase coming back home. I just found so much at that thrift store. Highly recommend if you are in Dallas, you need to go to Plaza Thrift. It's insanely good. I've been feeling kind of burnt out with thrifting lately just because I've been doing it so much and I typically just have to go to the same thrift stores here in St. Louis. So it was really, really fun for me to go to a new thrift store in Dallas. I think that one's only been open a couple of months and to finally thrift in Dallas again because of COVID, I haven't gone in two years. It's where my in-laws live. It was just really nice to hang out with everybody for the holidays. I tried to like take some time off and just put my camera down, but I really had to take you along on this one trip because it was so good. So I have a ton of stuff as I showed you. Let's get into it and I hope you enjoy my last thrift haul of 2021. with these shoes and accessories I picked up and the first pair of shoes I found are these vintage red Justin boots and I've never found Justin boots in my size before I didn't even realize they were Justin boots until I got home if you're not familiar with the brand it's just a really high quality Western wear brand they've been around for a really long time and I believe it or not do not have any like red cowboy boots so I was really really stoked on these I think they're gonna be really fun to just add like a pop of color to an outfit super well made fit me like a glove already worn in and just like perfectly, I don't know, made for me. I rarely find shoes in St. Louis, surprisingly. So um, these were really fun and I feel like, you know, I gotta bring a little bit of Dallas back with me. I also found a pair of those blue cowboy boots but I ended up leaving them there because I just didn't see myself wearing them. I didn't love them once I kind of tried them on but I did leave with these modern Steve Madden kind of dad sneakers. I really like these because they're super stretchy. They're in great condition. They honestly hardly look like they've been worn much. They're really nice because you can just slip them on. I've been searching for a shoe like this for so long and I know I could just buy one firsthand. Like I know there are so many companies out there that make them, but I just really wanted a thrift repair. So this was such a good find for me and they were $12. The only accessory piece I picked up was this blue beanie that was originally from the A New Day line from Target. I really love this color and I wear beanies all the time, especially now that it's gotten really cold. Today is 19 degrees in St. Louis, so you kind of have to have a hat. Yeah, I just love this color. I think it'd be super cute with that like pink 
puffer coat I just got and I think it was only a couple dollars I took the tag off but it was really inexpensive moving on to the clothes I picked up this sweater that looks very vintage but it's actually a modern brand and I really liked the kind of like granny knit that it has it definitely has a more cropped fit so it's something that I will for sure probably wear with like a high-waisted jean or something mostly I just thought it looked like a little vintage sweater and kind of that like crochet granny square trend that's happening right now unfortunately i've already washed this one but i think it was around maybe like six dollars none of the pieces i picked up were too expensive except for the shoes and the dior coat i found so many jackets at that thrift store i had to put a ton back just because they are very bulky and i could not fit them in my suitcase but they had a really good selection i ended up just taking home this brown fleece jacket it's a little bit longer kind of like a chore coat style and then it has a shearling collar and a shearling cuff and i actually wore it yesterday it was super rainy and cold here so i just wore it with like some jeans and a checkered sweater a little beanie and my rain boots and it just looked really really nice thrown over top and i think this one was around 15 dollars the area i did the best in at this thrift store was actually the bottoms which I never find at thrift stores in St. Louis and I actually found like six bottoms at this thrift store. I ended up stumbling upon definitely some grandma's like hand knit collection of skirts and I had to take home a couple of them. First is this Kelly Green hand knit sweater skirt. It is kind of like a midi length has an elastic waist and is just super cozy for the winter. This color is really popular right now. So I was really stoked to find this one. And I also found another one, this kind of Henley gray knit one, very similar style. This one also just fits so great. And I can see myself wearing this with like another chunky knit on top, my brown docks and doing a more like casual styling or again, you know, dressing it up if I want to. They've been on my thrift wish list for a couple of months so I was really excited to find these I wish I could have taken home every color but there was like 10 of them and I, I knew I needed to just narrow it down to these two and I'm really happy about these two finds and I think they were both around three dollars each so I ended up finding three other skirts all so good and vintage this one is a 90s fleece wrap skirt never seen anything like this i actually ended up wearing this for like we went to cocktails one night and wore this with like a little button down and some boots it was super cute definitely a nice winter cozy skirt and i think this one was probably around three or four dollars all of the vintage stuff there was very well priced for the most part and then i found this 90s mini skirt it's from the limited you can tell it has just like an old limited tag maybe with some like sheer tights would be really cute probably around three or four dollars for this one and the final skirt i found is arguably one of my most fun finds of 2021 and it is just so texas i had to get it it is a maxi skirt with this western motif i could definitely see myself styling this probably with the red cowboy boots i'll probably just kind of make it look a little bit more modern maybe do it with a crop top i love this piece and definitely you know like a little postcard from texas moment next i got just a pair of ann taylor loft wide leg black jeans i love these they're high waist i wore them while i was there and they look super cute with this little like ruffled sweater vest that i thrifted probably last year and they fit me perfectly i think they're around seven dollars and i've been looking for a good pair of just wide leg pants like this so these were a great find the second to last piece because i'm saving the best for last i got these on the second time i went back when i went to go see if they had the dior jacket again and these are just a pair of black jeans they kind of have a utility style white stitching they're pretty cropped so i think they'll look cute with my black docks i really like these and just thought it was a, a nice little cherry on top to going that second day and finding another good pair of jeans and the piece de resistance the dior trench i cannot contain my excitement when i found this the second time because i just i really didn't think it was going to be there still just in amazing condition i'm thinking it's probably from the 80s. I'm definitely going to get this altered to fit me a little bit better because it's a little bit big. I ended up spending $70 on it, which is 
a really good deal for this, honestly. Still like less than 25% of the price of a normal one. One of my only vintage designer finds of the year. So really going out with a bang with this one. I love it so much and I just think it's going to fit so well into my wardrobe and be such a good just everyday piece to wear during the fall and winter. And that is my last thrift haul of 2021. It has been quite a year of lots of lows and highs and thrifting and taking you guys along with me. I would love to hear what you guys want to see in 2022. Obviously there's going to be more thrifting, more thrift hauls, but if there's any other new content or specific video ideas that you guys would love to see, please put them in the comments below. And I also just want to thank you guys so much for supporting me and it truly just means the world to me that you guys watch and you want to see them and you support me. I just literally couldn't do it without you guys. So thank you again for being here with me in 2021 and coming with me along in this next year of life. I hope it's amazing and we find lots of good things thrifting. If you like this last thrift haul of 2021, Please like, comment, subscribe. I will still be posting weekly videos in 2022 every Sunday. And you can also follow me over on Instagram where I style up a lot of my thrift finds and kind of take you along more of my daily life. And until next week, bye!